going to do a foundation video for you guys today and I'm going to show a couple of my favorite items. Things that there's uh, other powders and stuff that goes on your skin. Ooh. <coughs> Sorry. Um, that I obviously can't uh, put on all at once. Um, I don't have anything on my face at the moment. I just put on uh, mascara and eyeshadow. Uh, it's showing up a bit more sparkly and overdone than usual because I've also got a light shining here on my face. I've got my note shining on me uh, just to kind of illuminate a little bit, trying to help with the foundation because um, it's nighttime outside. So usually it doesn't look, you know, all that. It's more like that, I guess. That's pretty <laughs> whew, in your face. But um, what I use for my eyebrows is just this angled brush here. This is an excellent brush. I got this from Kmart. It was a set of uh, three brushes, I think. And this is like the best brush I've ever owned. I just dip it in the eyeshadow and then just... And it. I follow the lines of where I've got my eyebrows tattooed, which are just guidelines, by the way. That's not how they're supposed to stay. And then I go over with eyeliner. So I've got the eyeliner here. I put mascara on already. I haven't put powder on. I haven't put foundation on. I've been watching some videos online that have been talking about some high coverage foundations, but they haven't talked about this one. So I figured I'll go ahead and share this with you guys because I have it and it is really good stuff and uh, see what you think. It's not my favorite because right now I'm going through some issues. I don't know. It's probably the climate change, but since I've come here, my skin is crazy dry like I've got dry patches all over my face and for my entire 41 years on this earth I've had oily skin so I've never once had dry skin I don't really know what to do how to moisturize what to even use I'm really scared of making myself break out and in, in oil again so I'm kind of like uh, I don't really know so when I put on foundation especially high coverage foundation it makes me look flaky and scaly. So if you see that, please excuse me. I don't know how to use all these fancy brushes. I don't know how to use the brushes. I don't know how to use even a beauty blender. I just kind of, I do what feels right to me, but it's not how everybody else online does it. I don't know how to use highlighters, I, contouring. I'm not interested in highlights and contours, even though I have a highlighter. Um, but, uh, I just don't know. I don't know what the various brushes and things are used for. I just, I, I just do do what I do, use what I can. So if you see me using stuff wrong, forgive me ahead of time. Uh, but I really don't care because it's what feels right to me. So I know you're supposed to put primer on your face, yada yada. I don't have any primer for one. All my money and stuff went into makeup, and for two. Because, like I said, I, I've never had this problem with my skin before. Usually my skin's just fine. I mean, I've got absolutely nothing on my skin as it is. I've got a bit of shine to my nose right now, but, um, you know, I've got no makeup on whatsoever. No powder, no nothing. It's I've only got stuff around my eyes and on my eyebrows. So, I haven't really needed primer. Maybe that's just me. I, I've got pretty good skin, though. Uh, one of my favorite items... <clears throat> However, which I usually use for my nose is this Dr. Feel Good. It's uh, anti shine. It says this silky refiner blended with vitamins C and E helps to mattify shine and smooth away the appearance of fine lines. It's a colorless, weightless miracle worker. So it comes with this little pad here, and this is what it looks like inside. It's like it's a balm, is what it is. It, it's very similar to the lip balm, it, it's the same consistency. And so usually like you can wear it alone or under makeup. I just get a little bit of it on and I just put it on and it, you know, it helps remove shine and stuff. I don't really want to put a lot on, but, uh, I love this stuff to death. I love it. I only have one of these, so I'm going to make it last. I don't really want to waste on the video. Um, my favorite powder, which I'm probably not going to be using today is this Bye Bye Pores. This is my number one favorite. I only use this for my nose though. This is what it looks like. It's quite small. It cosmetics. And this actually is such a finely milled powder. You put it on and your pores literally do vanish. But I only have big pores on my nose. So I only really need that for my nose. This here is my favorite foundation. This is not what I'm going to be using today. This is... Uh, 
so this is a medium coverage medium to light coverage you put this on and it makes your skin look airbrushed it's very light it sits on top of the skin it's not full coverage but it is not so light that it's like why the fuck are you using it this is very very airbrushed very beautiful i love this to death again i only have one of them so I, i'm really picky about when i use it i don't want to use it for this video and uh and then i might as well just show you guys this is the highlighter everybody loves i i uh made a video showing the, the makeup that i have that i can review for you guys and I, I did already show this in that video but i haven't obviously uploaded it yet um this is the box and I got it because I saw everybody talking about it. It was so good. It was so good. And uh, I know people use highlighter maybe, you know, on their eyes or in different areas. People always use makeup products in ways other than what they're meant for. So I thought maybe I'll find a use for it. This is what the outside looks like. It's uh, lavender and then like gunmetal. And inside it's this shimmery, shiny lavender and it is actually quite beautiful it looks white but it, it is lavender like a very very light pink color so i guess i'll i'll put some of it on my hand for you if you can see um probably i made the mistake of putting it on the wrong part of my hand let me put it on the outside of my hand here So that's what it looks like. And see, being a person that's grown up with shiny skin, I guess I don't really see the appeal of making yourself look shiny. I guess that's why I don't like highlighters. I don't want to look dewy and glowy and shiny. I want to look matte. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But uh, I don't know. I can't really find a use for it like I thought I would. I usually like light colors up here on my brow. I'm so... 80s I know but and this here uh it actually does shimmer lavender it might not look like it on camera but that is that is lavender so let's get started now uh again remember I suck at doing makeup so I probably used everything wrong don't hate me for it just just ignore it <laughs> what I'm going to show you today is this Marc Jacobs so uh, let's see um, this is what the box looks like if I can get it to focus and so that's the description on the back So this stuff is highly concentrated. From what I read about it, um, there's like no water in this. It's just pure pigment. It is really, really highly concentrated. This stuff here, I mean, this costs about $100 New Zealand, but you need so little of it. I could see even this here lasting for at least a year. I mean, you, you hardly need any. So it's got this little wand which a lot of people hate, a lot, a lot of people hate. Now, this isn't gonna look so great because like I said, my skin, it's gonna show up really badly. I'm just gonna use this. I know people use brushes to buff the makeup in or they use beauty blenders. This is actually my favorite beauty blender. This is Rihanna's and uh, her makeup is actually really good. So um, hold on. I've got the box here. I don't wanna spill my expensive ass foundation but this is what the box looks like yeah so Fenty Beauty it's just a, and it comes in a little plastic bag inside the box so it looks like that it is the softest beauty blender I have ever felt I've I'm not really experienced with them but from the few that I've had it's it's so cushiony and soft and this here your makeup just fucking glides on again i'm probably going to use this wrong don't judge just pay attention to the foundation what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dot it on and then i'm going to beauty blend it 
into my face. The light's kind of sitting at the wrong place, but you could already see how thick this foundation actually is. See, if I'm not careful, it will cover up all of my tattoos because this stuff is crazy good. So three little dots does one whole side of your face. So that's the difference there. And I'm just going to add just a wee little bit to my forehead. Oops. That's my eyebrow. That's okay because I've got eyeliner. I feel like a baby trying to put on makeup for the first time. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. But it goes on and so it works. So so that's that. Um, I will show you guys, I guess, on my hand is the best place. Um, I'll put some right here. So if you put it on and you kind of tap it in, you could very well cover your tattoos. It would just, like with all these miracle coverage, high coverage foundations, it would just take a few coats and lots of blending and things like that, but, you know, just to kind of spread it around and dick around with it and not seriously trying to cover it, you can see already it, uh, it starts trying to cover the tattoo. So if I were to build it up from here, I could, I could very well cover up my tattoos, which I don't want to do. So wipe that off. It doesn't really wipe off. Okay. So now I've got that on my face. This foundation is just remarkable. My skin is pretty good and it has amazing coverage. It really does. And it stays on pretty well. So um, I'm going to move on to powder now. This is my favorite brush, by the way. I, I do use this Marinesse and it's a just a regular Kabuki brush and you extend it to store it and you know you guys know how brushes work with my Marinus powder this is studio magic bb blur powder i love this stuff it smooths out my skin it's got this awesome like i've never seen this before but um it pushes that down you take it out and then it just got this screen so instead of the usual top with the holes that you have to kind of shake out you just push down on the screen <clears throat> and it loads up the brush. So this stuff lasts all day long. It it gives you an airbrushed look as well. It blurs your, your pores and everything as you can see. Like it just instantly taken away the shine off my nose. I've got this. Uh, this is really really expensive this is about a hundred dollars it's a I can't pronounce them but it's that brand and this stuff well it smells really good but I do not like it I don't think this is anywhere near as good as the cheaper blur powder 
this here, it gives you a dewy look. So again, I don't like the dewy. This doesn't mattify you. It doesn't really do anything. Um, <clears throat> I put this on and shine just shine just comes right out. And I, I really, really hate that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put eyeliner on my eyebrows. And I saved this because I've got this Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner. So this is the box that it came in. Magic Marker. This stuff is amazing. I put this on and my eyebrows resist makeup remover, water, soap, everything. I put it on and um, I've got eyebrows for the next three days and I'm not even kidding. I've tried four different makeup removers, a scouring pad, rubbing and scratching at it with soap and water and nothing budges these eyebrows. It's a fine tip marker. Um, it does annoy me a little bit because sometimes the tip is quite soft and uh, it'll get like that little ball on the end. I don't know if you can see that. It'll get that little ball on the end and I don't know what that's from if it's just the felt coming off but I noticed that real markers do that as well and uh, I've never liked it. A little pill of whatever it is at the bottom. So I guess that's good enough. Getting eyebrows tattooed on really does work. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to share with you guys um, a cool lipstick color. Um, this is a very unusual color. It's not one I ever thought that I would have liked. It's called Wolf by Kat Von D, W-O-O-L-F, and it's gray. Not gunmetal, it's just gray. This is a, a color you would look at and think, that wouldn't really work. It wouldn't really suit, but it does. I've worn this in some pictures and some videos. Whenever I give Josh the option to choose my lipstick for me, which I, I quite often do, he he usually chooses that. I don't have a gray liner. A black liner would be too dark for it, so I just use Kat Von D and Poe, which is, of course, blue, because blue is pretty good with gray. So I'm just going to do that quickly. All right, so this is what it looks like straight out of the tube. It's just gray. I'm not going to bother de-blurring it because there's no point. And there you go. So that's one coat. And I'm pretty much finished. I'm just going to quickly darken my eyes because I really don't like my eyes being so, <laughs> so pale like this. I usually use a brush now, but for time's sake, I'm just going to do it this way. And there we go. So it doesn't look so great with a bright light shining on me like this. But I did it for you guys. <laughs> My hair's all fucked up. Uh, so I'll remove that light. And just give me normal light. And so my eye makeup, it didn't really work out to do it early. I, I, I've never done my eye makeup before I've done foundation. So that was a little different for me. I don't, can't say I really like it. But, um... Yeah, the foundation is amazing. 
everything I showed you today is pretty amazing. I don't know. What do you guys think? It ran a little long. I'm sorry. I was trying to do a little bit of a show and tell. The lipstick color. I didn't put it on completely <laughs> evenly. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful color, and it's not one that you would think would look all that great, but it does. It, it's a very unique color, and it kind of suits almost any makeup style. When you're out in the sunlight, you can tell it's obviously very great, but then you can do other things. Like what I do is I usually take, um, I take eyeshadow, and I brush it over. So I've got this blue version of... Uh, the one that I always use on my eyes. And you've just given it a nice blue hint. So usually you guys see me and you're like, oh my god, I love your lipstick. It's because I've done something like that. I've usually kind of um just wiped a, a kind of a eyeshadow on top something that goes along with the the colors that I'm wearing for the day or that goes uh, along with the base of the lipstick and it stays pretty kiss proof there's just a little line there but you know for the most part it stays pretty well I've got a I don't know where it is I've got a little bottle of um kiss proof like liquid you put it over your lipstick and it makes it kiss proof but I find that doesn't really work all that well it's just best to get a good lipstick to start with so I guess that's all for today um I'm sorry this ran a bit long and a little bit boring let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see I'll have my other video probably uploaded before this which shows the makeup that I've got and you can tell me if there's anything in there that you want to see or you want me to try to swatch. I don't really know how to swatch either. <laughs> That's another thing. And, and these things, I don't really feel like taking the time to go and research and look, especially if it's not going to be something I'm going to do often. So I'll probably just take some and then rub it on part of my body. Or uh, I was looking at Josh and he's got too much hair on the top and then he's got tattoos underneath. So he can't be used either. So it's just going to have to be my leg. Sorry, guys, but I'll, I'll do that for you if you tell me what you want me to swatch. You know, look at my other video. I'll link it in the description below, and I will see you guys around. Thank you for sitting here and watching this, which is probably very boring for you, but I just thought I would share. Take care, and I will see you around.